Section 20 of Women of History. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Pamela Krantz. Women of History by Anonymous. The Countess of Tripoli. 1150. Sismondi. The knights who had returned from the Holy Land spoke with enthusiasm of a countess of Tripoli, who had extended to them the most generous hospitality, and whose grace and beauty equaled her virtue. Geoffrey Rudel, a gentleman of Bilieu in Provence, and one of those who were presented to Frederick Barbarossa in 1154, hearing this account, fell deeply in love with her without having seen her, and prevailed upon one of his friends, Bertrand Delamont, a troubadour like himself, to accompany him to the Louvain. In 1162 he quitted the court of England, whither he had been conducted by Geoffrey, the brother of Richard I, and embarked for the Holy Land. On his voyage he was attacked by a severe illness, and had lost the power of speech when he arrived at the port of Tripoli. The countess, being informed that a celebrated poet was dying of love for her on board a vessel which was entering the roads, visited him on shipboard, took him by the hand, and attempted to cheer his spirits. Rudel, we are assured, recovered his speech sufficiently to thank the countess for her humanity, and to declare his passion, when his expressions of gratitude were silenced by the convulsions of death. He was buried at Tripoli, beneath a tomb of porphyry, which the countess raised to his memory with an Arabic inscription. I have transcribed his verses on distant love, which he composed previous to his voyage. They began thus. Angry and sad shall be my way, if I behold not her afar, and yet I know not when that day shall rise, for still she dwells afar. God, who has formed this fair array of worlds and placed my love afar, Strengthen my heart with hope, I pray, of seeing her I love afar. End of section 20. The Countess of Tripoli. Recording by Pamela Krantz.